Right. I do the only thing I can think of. I'm going to try and just pull this up on the side. With the worst possible result. Oh. Our day on the river has suddenly become dangerous. Grizzlies are considered by some to be the most dangerous of all bears. They can grow up to 1,500 pounds and run at 30 miles an hour. Humans are wise to keep a safe distance. Oh, this is absolutely typical. You find a good spot, somebody else comes in, tries to LB you out. But I think, I think in this case, I'm going to make a graceful retreat. Once they've moved off a bit, I can carry on trying to catch my first salmon. But these grizzlies are putting me to shame. Ah! 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 Here we go. Believe it or not, this is the first salmon I've ever had on the end of my line. I'm so engrossed with catching a salmon, at first I don't notice our interested onlooker. Out of the water, out of the water. Right, come. OK, OK, right. I think we're going to run and break the fish off. Well, I think it... Oh, oh. No. Hey, is it on the fish? This bear is clearly not afraid of us. And that's a problem. Should we just break it off? No. We're going to break the. No, we're just going to break the. We're going to break the fish off. This is a young grizzly, but although not fully grown, it could still attack and kill any one of us. You can have the fish. Luckily, it's more interested in the salmon than us. It took my fish, and a minute later, it's back for more. This time, we need to fire a warning shot. I'm going to fire away. Oh. He's getting too pushy. Whoa! No! You guys, plug your ears. Just deep breaths. Just calm down. It's all, all part of the, uh, the day in the life of a fisherman in this part of the world. I catch pike after pike. It's a struggle to stay focused. And then, to compound my frustration... Oh! I'm impaled Ooh, by my own hook. Yeah. I'll just take it. Yeah, that's all right. Good. Ah, the pike's off. I hooked myself. The best hook up all day, myself. I got off lightly. The good thing was that that pike actually came off. It wasn't attached to my arm and flapping around. Well, if that had been a muskie, and if that had stayed attached rather than unhooking itself, I could be in a lot more trouble. After 30 exhausting minutes, I haven't gained an inch. Ah. Ah. This isn't like any fishing I've ever experienced, and I start to wonder if I can cope. Most fish, it's all over in five, ten minutes, half an hour at the extreme. You know, this in fresh water, something like this is just is just unheard of. With neither of us willing to give in, it becomes a war of attrition. Give or take the odd foot of line, we're in total deadlock. I've just been told it's one hour, five minutes so far. We're into about round eight now. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's taking line, that is taking line far. This thing does not like being bullied. I just decided I was going to, you know, show it who's boss, and uh, the fish is saying, no, no. We can go there. You're not the boss. Oh. oh, that's about half an hour's worth of work has just gone. I've just gained about three foot of line, and it's just taken that. But sometimes when it does that, the fish then takes a bit of a breather, and I can maybe capitalise. For another 40 minutes, we slug it out in a grueling tug of war. Right, I've got the initiative. Whoa. Ah, ah, ah. Then, after almost two okay, hours, Whoa. a breakthrough. I think it's come off the bottom. There was a sudden, ah, a sudden sort of break of suction. It does feel like it. It's actually, yeah, that's definitely coming my way a lot faster than it has done at any time until now. My arms are cramping up 
and I'm close to breaking point. But I finally got the measure of this gigantic fish. It's about a metre and a half below the surface. Here it comes, here it comes. I'm just seconds away from seeing what must surely be one of the world's greatest river monsters. Right, that's, look at that. That is the rod went. The rod went. I actually saw the fish. We, you know, we we nearly, nearly had it in the net, but an almighty bang. My gear was built to deal with sharks and marlin. Whatever broke this rod could have weighed as much as 700 pounds. I thought it was my shoulder going for a minute, but it was actually the rod. Rod's too long. Yeah. Oh dear, that was so close. The fish nearly came in. We saw it, it was up off, you know, eventually after two hours or something, it was off the bottom. We were trying to get the net round it. The rod went and the fish escaped. It wasn't quite in the net. And to make matters worse, the fighters left me with a torn bicep. All that suffering, I saw the fish and it's, oh, all that for nothing, all that. I'm in Suriname in South America. Oh, yeah. And I have finally hooked the wolffish, a fish I believe is more fearsome than the piranha. But there is a problem. All the commotion has attracted a really unwanted visitor. <laughs> is it after the fish or me? Hey. I do the only thing I can think of. I'm going to try and just pull this up on the side. With the worst possible result. Oh. I was trying to pull the fish up on the side because the caiman was after it and I've lost it. I've lost it. Damn. Should have had that fish. If that caiman hadn't been there, I'd have probably had that fish. What I was trying to do was just slide it up on the side here. Hook came out. Hey. Damn. I can't risk going back, even though I know wolf fish are there. Cayman, a territorial, and it was certainly not afraid of me. It will be there again tomorrow without doubt, and next time it might not just go for the fish. A seven-foot Cayman could easily attack, and a severe injury out here would have serious ramifications. 